So I friend this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video as the counseling date and result date for A Triple E 2022 has been announced now. So here I will provide you the complete A to Z step by step process everything that you need to know in order to do your counseling in a in a better manner and you will able to get the best out of your rank. That's what I am hoping for all of you. So here I will try to provide you all the information about the A Triple E counseling. Is what are the college you will able to get? What is the schedule that you need to follow? Fee detail for all the slab I will be talking about and registration how you need to do eligibility that is uh, which type of a student are eligible what is the reservation uh, criteria and choice filling most importantly refund policy so everything i will be discussing in the same video so if you're first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel and if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number for complete guidance there is a nominal charge for that once you register i will be guiding you as i have guided lots of us friends in last three four years and it is not only limited to a triple e but for other counseling whatever you will do this year including josa csap comment k that everything i will be guiding you so that you will get the admission in best possible college by the end of this year so if you want you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so one more thing i would like to inform you that i have already uploaded the expected cutoff for this year all campus all branch that is what will be the expected cutoff for csc coimator ec coimator or csc amrita puri bangalore chennai everything and this year they have added our new campus that is samravati and that is uh, that is subjected to AICTE approval. So if they will get, get the approval, they uh, they will provide you the option to fill the choice in the choice filling itself. So let's get started with the video. So before that, once again, I would like to request you please try to like this video and subscribe the channel so that you will not miss any type of update. And I will also get some type of support from your side. So here is the information that is. First of all, let's talk about the overview. So with A Triple E, J E, SAT, T U W E, these are the four examinations through which you can take the admission. Obviously, the most important is A Triple E and J E mains. With SAT and P U W E also, there are some percent of seat are available, but 70% seat will be filled through A Triple E, 25 will be filled through J E mains, and rest will be filled through these two examinations. So next, uh, all students are eligible. That is every type of a student. If you have 60% in class 12 examination, that is 55% at least in each subject. That is PCM. Then you are eligible for this if you have appeared in a triple e or j mains or set p u w e any with anything you can register on the website and you will able to get the seat through the counseling process and i would like to inform you those students who are waiting for the j mains result you can apply at the time of registration when the registration for csap will be starting it is centralized seat allocation process at the time you can provide your phase one result itself and when your phase two will be announced uh, they will provide you the option to uh, fill the phase 2 result as well and based on that they will provide you the college and uh, now if you talk about the number of campus available 4 plus 1 that is 4 campus earlier this year they have added Amravati campus earlier it was Coimbatore, Bangalore, Amrita Puri and Chennai and for everything I have provided the information you can check the video in iVotan as well as the description box it is cut off and everything and very soon I will try to provide you the placement detail about all the campus all the branches surely in the same channel so now if you talk about the cutoff, cutoff you can go, uh, you can get up to 30,000 with A triple E and up to 2 lakh rank also and there is reservation that is 50% uh, seat will be reserved for home state. There is no category wise reservation that is general OVC SCST but 50% seat will be given to only home state and rest 50% will be given to other status student. So if you talk about the fee, fee is 1 to 3.25 lakh depending on the slab that you will get and I will talk about that in detail in the same video later that is scholarship uh, there are available slab 1, slab 2, slab 3 and what are that I will try to discuss and number of seat available in each slab I will discuss later in this video. So now if you talk about the placement, very good placement record. So if you don't know about AEEE, uh, that is Amrita, Amrita University, please try to watch my review video in the same channel you will get that is Amrita uh, playlist you will able to get. So try to check that. And one more thing I would like to inform you, if, if you want to get the management quota seat in Amrita, there is an option on website itself. Whenever you will register, they will ask you whether you want to consider yourself for management quota. If you will select that, you will be you will be uh, getting an option of management quota as well. Obviously, they will be charging more. So I will su I will suggest to avoid that option until unless you don't get the seat in counseling process. Then you can go with management quota because management quota uh, can be achieved later in later days also because you will be paying more fee. But now I will suggest you do your counseling very carefully and I will be helping in that. That is complete guidance. I will be available you from 10 a.m. up to midnight for all the day for you. You can call me any number of time any, for any duration until unless your doubt is clear. So and, and more importantly the counseling process will be done under my guidance and it is not only for ATRIPALI but for other counseling whatever you will do this year for that also that is up to your final admission is done. So now let's continue this video that is course availability.
so here is the course available for all the campus you can read side wise as well i am telling you aerospace engineering only in coimbatore campus automation and robotics engineering that is are is subjected to aict approval that is wherever the star marks is there that is subjected to aict approval if it will be approved you will be getting the option of that branch in the choice filling that is amrita puri and chennai campus and coimbatore also and uh, civil engineering only available in uh, coimbatore campus uh, chemical engineering only available in coimbatore campus computer science available in every campus computer science artificial intelligence available in all campus computer science uh, uh, that is communication engineering only available in chennai and coimbatore and uh, computer science engineering cyber security uh, available in uh, amrita puri coimbatore and chennai and next is ec available in all the campus except um, uh, amravati and tripoli again amrita puri chennai and bangalore and uh, uh, electronics and uh, electronics and computer engineering that is eac uh, available in amrita puri and bangalore and electrical and computer engineering are available in amrita puri as well as in coimbatore and mechanical engineering available in all campus except amravati uh, so this was about the program that is available it is for btech course and uh, as i said uh, star marks uh, means subjected to aict approval there is total 36 option among that 31 uh, 31 is sure and five option is subjected to uh, aict approval so now let's talk about the schedule that is very important that you need to follow if you will miss you will miss the whole counseling process uh, of course it is tentative dates but as of now this is the date that's why i'm providing you it may change because last year also they changed number of time so publication of a triple result based on the best of percentile that you have got in phase 1 phase 2 they will consider and they will provide you the rank based on that it is on august 5th and registration of csap will be starting uh, from same day that is august 5th and registration will be done up to 12th of august trial allotment will be done on 15 trial allotment is not the original allotment that is just the mock allotment there they will provide you the option that you may get in first round so that is not the reality because after that many student will change the choices so that will have the effect on first round allotment and first round allotment will be done on 17th of august last day last day to pay the provisional fee that is initial fee uh, for the seat that you will get in the counseling process you will have to do that up to 22nd of august and there will be different type of rules applicable that is slot freeze slide different type of option and that is very same i will try to provide you a separate video about that also but i am telling you float means you will retain the seat but you will go for next round if you will get anything the your seat will be changed and you will not able to get your previous seat if you will do freeze that means you are ready to take the admission in the given college if you will do slide that means you want to get the other branch in that same uh, campus itself so i think you got the complete information second allotment will be done on 24th of august and the rest schedule is not announced yet once they will announce i will try to inform you as soon as possible so now let's talk about fee details so here is the information that is uh, counseling fee they will take 5000 and it will be adjusted with your academic fee once you take the admission if you will not take the admission and if you will not get anything in the counseling process they will refund your 5000 if you will get anything and if you will not take the admission this 5000 will be not refunded so, so here is the fee structure the detail then, this year they have changed the criteria as well so now the slab 1 will have 10% seat so i i would like to inform you total number of seat they will not provide you because they will sell the seat through management quota also i don't know this is legal or illegal but it is a private college so they can do anything you will able to see the same thing that is management quota option will be available on your login page as well if you will go for management management quota and if you will take the seat you will not be eligible to get the seat on merit so i will suggest you first go with merit if you will not able to get the seat through counseling process that is if your rank is high then you can go with the management quota because management quota will be available at in later days as well because for that you will have to pay a little bit more fee so here is the information that is slab 1 will have 10% seat slab 2 earlier it was 20% now it is 15% only and uh, scholarship uh, uh, scholarship 3 that is slab 3 fee will have uh, only 15% seat now that is slab 2 slab 3 both have 15% earlier both was having 20% of the seat so one more thing i would like to inform you 85% of total seat they say on the website that will be given through the examination only and 15% seat will be sold to the management quota this is their official statement you can check the same on the website as well and rest uh, and rest uh, 60% seat will be given through a scholarship criteria 4 and the regular fee that is non scholarship that is uh, that is most of the seat will be given through the slab 4 that is 45% seat and the non scholarship will have 15% seat so total five type of fee, uh, fee categories there that is for uh, uh, slab 1 1 lakh slab 2 1.75 lakh slab 3 2.25 lakh slab 4 2.75 lakh that is around 3 lakh that is 25000 less than 3 lakh and slab uh, slab 5 that is regular fee will have 
3.5 lakh fee that is per year for CSE or AI branch that is for Chennai or Amravati campus if Amravati campus will be available that is subjected to AI CTE approval but for Amrita Puri, Bangalore and Coimbatore this year they have changed and, and for Amrita Puri and Bangalore the, uh, the fee will be 25,000 25, more as compared to other that I have discussed you can see here also and uh, and for and for Coimbatore it is 50,000 more that is far. highest fee is 4 lakh 50,000 for Coimbatore campus and for other campus it is less than that so now if we talk about for electronics related branch it is 1 lakh 1.5 lakh 1.75 lakh 2.5 lakh and 3 lakh that is all type of fee that is for different slabs and for other you can check sidewise it is for uh, Amrita Puri as well as Bangalore, Coimbatore everything has been mentioned here so, so uh, now let's talk about the choice filling that is the very important process please try to listen my word very carefully because with better uh, better choice filling with better counseling process you will able to get the best slab as well as the best branch obviously you are targeting best branch but if you will get best slab then you will face the money of your parents as well so it is very advisable do it very carefully and i will be guiding you completely for the choice filling decision making everything up to your admission is done so that you will get the best out of your rank and you will join the best campus with best possible slab and it is not only for a triple but for other counseling whatever you will do and i will be doing the college comparison at the last so that you will join the best college with best possible branch so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so most important process as i said one time choice filling only one time it is before first round you have to fill the choices and that will be considered for all the remaining rounds so you will not able to change that's why it is very important and total 36 choices will be available you can fill any number of choices and five are subjected to aict approval that i already said earlier and as i said you can fill any number of choice minimum is one maximum is 36 so that i will consider during the choice filling as well so now let's talk about the most important thing about the counseling process that is the refund policy because many of you will be taking the admission as a backup option and you will look for iit and it or any other college as well so what is the refund policy so as i earlier said refund will be made as per ugc iict uh, policy and refund will be made only after the submission approved that means you have paid the fee you have got the seat if you will provide everything they will provide you the refund so, so here is the important information that is first there is two type of refund policy first is for other campus other three campus and second is for Coimbatore campus so first uh, refund policy says that withdrawal request before commencement of program that is before the classes start that is not released yet when the class will start but before that if you will take then they will refund all your money by deducting 1000 only that is a uh, fee processing fee and if you will request within 10 days that is after the commencement of the classes that is suppose uh, if the class will start from 12th of September and you, if you will ask your money before 22nd of September then they will provide you the refund by deducting 10% and if you will if you will go after 10 days but before 20 days that is before 2nd of uh, October then they will provide you the refund by deducting 20% and if you will go after 20 days but before 30 days that is uh, before 12th of, uh, 12th of October you will be getting 50% refund only and after that there is no refund policy so this was about the refund policy of Amrita Puri campus Bangalore campus Chennai campus and if there will be the availability of Am uh, Amravati this year it is applicable for that also but now let's talk about Coimbatore campus for Coimbatore campus you will have a little bit more time that is before commencement similar thing that is all all fee will be refunded but after the commencement within 30 days you will get uh, the refund by deducting 10% after the commencement but before 45 days that is after 30 days but before th uh, 45 days uh, you will have to sacrifice 20 percent of your fee that is they will provide you the refund by deducting 20 percent that is suppose example if you will uh, if the classes will start from 12th of september if you will go before 12th of october they will provide you the 10 percent refund if you will go before the classes start they will provide you all the refund uh, if you will go after 12th of october but before uh, before 27th of october they will provide you the uh, refund by deducting 20% and if you will go after 45 days but within 60 days that is after 27th of October but before 12th of November they will provide you the 50% refund after 12th of October they will provide you no refund and 12th of October I am providing you just an example uh, it is not the official information that classes will be starting from the 12th of September but it may start around that that's why I provided you the example so this was the complete information about the complete process of ATPLE 2022 everything I have discussed that is fee structure counseling process choice filling schedule program available everything refund policy uh, overview of the uh, counseling process everything I have discussed so hope you find this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel so that I will get some support from your side 
and please try to contact me if you want the counseling guidance from me there is a nominal charge for that if you want you can contact me so that you will get the best out of your rank thanks